What's going on guys? So today a whole bunch of new DLC was released for the Xbox 360 Elite members. This is one of the new maps that's going to be available on the Face Off playlist. Now for those of you guys who don't know, Face Off is the 1v1 and 2v2 playlist that is now available for Call of Duty Elite members on the Xbox 360. And it's basically 1v1 and 2v2 matches, so um, if you want to just face off against uh, one other person or if you want to get a buddy and see how you do versus uh, two other guys now you have that option so instead of having to go into a private game and 1v1 someone or, or 2v2 someone in a clan battle uh, all you have to do is go into this playlist now the maps in this playlist are not uh, not the open maps that you guys see on all the standard Team Deathmatch, uh, Kill Confirmed, all that. Uh, all the standard playlists, there isn't Dome or, or any of that stuff. Um, there are four specific face-off maps that were released today, and one of them is uh, right here. It's called Getaway, and essentially what this map is is just this big, huge uh, beachside mansion, and it's a very, very small map. All of these face-off maps are incredibly small. You can basically see the entire map by standing on one corner you can see all four corners of the map basically anywhere you stand so there's not going to be a lot of you know long boring parts in these games they're not going to drag on for too long most of the face-off games that I've played for 2v2 lasted between 5 and 7 minutes, so they're fairly quick. Um, there isn't, uh, the, the score limit is at 30 when you're playing Kill Confirmed and Team Deathmatch, so it's a little bit shorter, but again, you're only using two people, so you're definitely going to have to make the scores a little bit smaller, and that's why they did have uh, a, a 30 kill limit in Team Deathmatch and a 30 point limit in Kill Confirmed. So the game type itself, I definitely think, is a great addition to Modern Warfare 3. It's something I think a lot of people have been kind of asking for and kind of hoping for. Um, as far as the maps are concerned, I have videos on all four of the face-off maps. This is the first one that I'm uploading. I'll have annotations all over the screen for the other three if you guys want to check those out. Um, as far as playing face-off, basically, I have a few tips that um, I've kind of figured out as I've been playing it. And as uh, as I've watched Ali A, uh, he's had all of his face-off videos and all the new DLC videos up for quite a while now and uh, I watched all of those this afternoon I used some of his tips I used some of mine um, so basically this is what I have for you guys you definitely want to use a silenced weapon there's no doubt about that with only two people on the map the only way to not be seen is, is to use a silenced weapon or the best way to not be seen I should say next thing you want to use is assassin because UAVs and uh, advanced UAVs that's basically the kill streak that everyone uses in face-off just because uh, as soon as you put the UAV up you're gonna know at least where one person is maybe even both and you're gonna lose uh, you're, you're you're gonna get killed a lot and you're gonna lose the lead if you have it and I think using assassin and silencers just it gives you that edge when you're playing face-off gives you that advantage and the other thing I want to uh, I want to mention to you guys as far as uh, some tips that I have, uh, I never really used this before, but I heard Ali A's videos, I watched them, and he's this is what he's been using. Uh, he uses Recon Pro. I'm not using it in this video, but, but in, I think in the other videos, I, I try to use Recon and Recon Pro. I think that's a great tactic, just because of the fact that there are only two people, so if you get a hit on one, and uh, he gets away from you, your teammate can see him on the map, you can see him on the map, and I, I think that's a great way to play face off. I think especially with only two people, you need every single advantage that you can get and definitely using recon pro is going to help you a lot um, as far as guns go I mean I've seen a mixture of assault rifles of submachine guns and even some sniper rifles this particular map you really have no reason to use a sniper rifle everything is very close quarters there's not really that many long lines of sight uh, you'll see I go to like two particular spots in this map um, I'll point them out if I remember to but in general this map you're gonna run in and out of and, and this sucks right here that glass doesn't break in the game so you can't see anything past that it really really sucks I think I bail out of that spot like three or four times throughout this game because I can't see anything through that window uh, but this spot right here is definitely one of the best spots in the map there's a spawn point right by that car you see most most of the building right here and you see both of them just in and out of the building so I think this is a great spot in the map and the other spot is on the direct opposite side near the pool um, another spawn point uh, another kind of long-ish line of sight um, but it's not sniper worthy I think assault rifle worthy definitely but if you uh, if you want to use a submachine gun I think you'll have the best advantage on this map using a submachine gun with a silencer and most likely rapid fire 
so that's basically all the tips that I have for Face Off. It's available right now for Call of Duty Elite members on the Xbox 360. Like I said, there are four maps available right now. Um, I have annotations all over the screen right now if they're all up, and you guys can check them all out. They all play extremely differently. This map in particular is very uh, close quarters, very um, very useful when you have the uh, the submachine guns and a little bit of the assault rifles. I don't do too well in this game, but I thought this was a, a good map to show off a majority of the spots in this uh, in this map. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely post a comment down below letting me know what you guys thought of uh, Face Off. I definitely think it's a good game mode to add to Modern Warfare 3. I think it gives it a little bit uh, a little bit more of that competitive edge. I see the, the thing about having Face Off is the fact that if you get into a lobby 9 out of 10 times you're going to get in with people who, who know each other. Um, the two guys on the opposite team are probably uh, probably have mics. They probably know each other. They might even be clan members or, or whatever they are. But um, I definitely think having a mic is a must. Uh, pretty much every lobby I've been in, everybody has a mic. Everyone's talking to each other. Teamwork is definitely a big thing in, in Face Off. Uh, so those are all the tips that I have in this video. Definitely check out all the annotations on the screen for the other three maps. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys later.